Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding to welcome the driver party. Friends, we are here to witness and celebrate the marriage of Hyun Kyung Ji, who we know as Luna, and Robert Paul Elliot, who we know as Paul. We gather in the presence of God and surround them with prayer as we share in their joy today. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. For God is love, and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. may be seated. Let us pray. Gracious God, your generous love surrounds us and everything we enjoy comes from you. And may the God of love heal and strengthen us, deepen our love for one another and renew our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite Kay to come and bring us the Bible in. Love is patient, love is kind, and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly, it does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. But now faith, hope, love 
abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. People look for all sorts of fulfilment in life today and we're prone to hope all manner of things might get us what we think we want and need. And there is a mystery. We believe that what we need will be found in someone else and it kind of is, but not in the way that we expect. We satisfy our deepest need only as we give ourselves to somebody else. And that is our prayer for you too today. I'm going to ask you both a question. If you agree, you say, I do. <laughs> if you don't agree, then we've got some talking to do. <laughs> Luna and Paul, do you believe that God has blessed and guided you and today calls you into marriage? I do. Excellent. Covered the first hurdle. <laughs> I'm going to ask you all to stand, and there's an affirmation that is printed in your order of service. And I'm going to ask you an affirmation, and if you agree, the response is we will. Okay? Will you, the families and friends of Luna and Paul, who have come to share this wedding day, give them your blessing and support? <laughs> Fantastic. You may be seated. This is my song. We're going to say a prayer over the rings. God of steadfast love, by your blessing, let these rings be to Luna and Paul a symbol of the vows that they have made today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And of the vows that we have made today. And of the vows. And of the vows that we have made today. It's getting on. You can join hands. Please stand. Before God and in the presence of us all, Luna and Paul have made their solemn vows. They have confirmed their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I proclaim therefore that they are now husband and wife. Those whom God has joined, no one must separate. Amen. And if you'd like to, you may kiss. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of married now. <laughs> Not kind of, you are married now. <laughs> you may be seated. We're going to do some formalities. We're going to light the, these two candles here represent the two families and together Paul and Luna are going to light uh, their new family candle because their love is a sign of the victory of God's love over the divisions and disputes of humankind. 
May this candle remind you of this day and the light of Christ be always with you. So if you would be upstanding please and welcome the court and